Hey everyone! So today I come with you to you with this all pink everything look. Pink eyes, pink cheeks, pink lips, pink sweater. Um, I really have been liking pink a lot and I just thought I'd throw this look together for you. All products I use will be listed below. I did this glittery pink eye with a super bright pink lip. So if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look then just keep watching. So first I'm just going to be pulling up my hair just to get ready to do my makeup. And then I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer just to set all that on my face as a base for everything I'm about to put on it. The summer rain is passing over And it feels like a dream I could run and look for shelter then I didn't get a clip of it, but of course I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match in W3. And for the first half of the video, there's just dark spots of my camera where it just gets really dark. Sorry about the lighting, but I promise you about halfway through the video, I think once I'm in the middle of doing my brows, I turn and we don't have that issue anymore. But anyways, I'm just going to be blending in my foundation with a beauty blender. I'm standing where the lightning strikes I know this doesn't happen twice Then I'm going to be taking my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer and you only literally need a dot of this for your whole face so I'm just going to be placing this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and between my eyebrows on my forehead. And I'm also going to be blending that in with a beauty blender. That I have told you, but it's all in my head. Ask me. Then I'm just going to be setting it with this Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And I always press and not rub because I don't want to move anything on my face, so I just kind of dab it into my skin. And then I'm just going to be taking my Milani Brow Fix Kit and filling in my brows using the darker shade for the middle and ends and the lighter shade for the beginning of my brows. And then of course setting them with Maybelline Great Lash and this is where I turn so we should have no more lighting issues. Next I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild bronzer and just bronzing up my face, not really contouring, just putting some color back into my skin. Then I'm going to be taking this beautiful bright pink blush by e.l.f. and just putting this all over the apples of my cheeks and working it back to my hairline but be careful because this can be intense and then I'm just taking a foundation brush just to blend everything together so there's no harsh lines and then taking this NYX liquid illuminator dotting this on all the places on my face I'd like to highlight Don't you know you stuff the room? Next, I'm going to be taking the original Naked palette in the color Virgin and just placing this on my brow bone. In a lifetime, in a lifetime, you must be... Then I'm going to be taking the color Buck, which is like my favorite blending shade ever, and I'm going to be blending this all into the crease just for a transition color. I'm standing where the lightning strikes I know this doesn't happen twice Then I'm going to be taking this Jordana Eye Crayon and it's just a white color and I'm just going to be placing this on my lid and dabbing it in with my finger to be setting it as a base for the rest of our shadow. Next 
Next I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild palette and taking this lighter pink color right here, the second color of the palette, and just placing this all over our lid. And then I'm going to be taking the next shade down, which is the darker pink, just to kind of make it a deeper pink. And just placing this all over my lids. Next I'm going to be taking this Jessie's Girls pigment, spraying my brush with a little bit of um, e.l.f. face setting spray, and placing this over the pink so I get all those nice little sparkles. Next I'm just going to be lining my eyes of course with the NYC liquid liner. I'm then going to be taking that color virgin and popping it in the corner of my eyes. And I'm going to be taking Buck again which was just that deeper brown color and lining my lower lash line with that. Next for mascara, I'll have all the products listed below including the three mascaras I use, but I am just going to coat my lashes and don't forget your bottom lashes because I promise you it makes a difference. <laughs> Next, just set that with a little bit of Mario Badescu rose water, of course, because it's life. And onto the lips, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Lilac color. No gloss needed, this color is perfection. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my lips. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think and thumbs up and let me know what all you'd like to see. And thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.